We're ready to do the transfer of the design. I'm just one last time making sure all of these pieces are stuck to the contact paper as much as possible. All right, on three. One, two, three. Okay, I think you need to be up a little bit. Okay. That looks good. Yep. That looks perfect. So, thank you very much. Now what I'm going to do, similar to uh, when I applied the contact paper, is, but much more gently, I am now putting each, just very gently pushing each, each piece of glass into the adhesive. We're ready to go to the next step in the creation of the mosaic. I've done some preliminary work. As you saw before, we transferred the design to another board. I've taken all of these Scrabble tiles and drilled little holes through them. That's always challenging not to go through to the other side. Now what I'm going to be doing is applying adhesive to the board. And I just use a plywood board. And the reason I use this is because the strands of plywood that go the opposite directions keep this from warping. And both the adhesive I use and the grout have water in them. So that's a big issue that has to be considered. So I'm just going to take a big scoop and start mushing it in very technical terms here because, you know, we want to keep technology going. So I've got the adhesive applied and now what I'm using is this tool to pull off the excess and make it all a very even depth. All right, I've got the design down. I've put all of the pieces into the adhesive. Now what I need to do is peel off the contact paper so that I can put my big pieces and my Scrabble tiles on. The Scrabble tiles have been pre-prepared. I've drilled little holes into them so that the adhesive can get into those holes and hold them down a little bit better. So now I'm just going to start peeling off. And as you can see, sometimes pieces start to come off. So I'm using my very highly technical tool of my bamboo skewer. Okay, so I've gotten the contact paper off. I did have a few spots where my adhesive was a little too thick. So if you look right here, if I leave the adhesive like this, there won't be room for the grout. So again, using my high-tech tool, I am just going to scrape that little bit of excess adhesive out. I'm now ready to start putting my bigger pieces on. So just as a marker, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one right there, the beginning of my Mad Hatter. I've now gotten the first row of the Scrabble letters applied, and I've made sure it actually spells out Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and I'm not missing any letters somehow. Now what I'm going to do is move on to the bigger objects. Um, I mostly did that so that I don't have to reach over the bigger objects, but since those are heavier, I want to get these in next just to make sure that I have as much um, adhesive power as possible. I think in this case, because that is a pretty big piece, I'm just going to pick that back up and I'm going to butter those edges a little bit with a little more adhesive. So I buttered the edges a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and put this in and make sure that I line it up so that I'm not putting it on any of the glass. So the hat's on. I'm going to start moving on with my other items. My little mushroom. We have our pocket watch. Now I need to make sure that I use my little cup designed for the top. This one goes on the bottom. Now I'm going to be putting on the saucer. And again, I'm just going to butter that just a little bit. And I want to make sure that this looks straight. Coffee pot too, because it's thicker and a little heavier. Doing a quick butter on the edges. All right, our coffee pot's going on. Actually, it's not a coffee pot, it's a teapot. So we now have my major elements glued down and I can go ahead and finish putting in the Scrabble tiles. 
Welcome back. The commission piece that I've been working on and that you've been following is almost done. I have two minor things to finish. First of all, I'll show you where we're at with it. I have grouted the piece. You didn't really want to see that. It's very messy and fussy and frankly the bane of my existence, but it does make the piece just beautiful and, and finished. So now what I need to do is um, I have made cards to go onto the hat and the customer chose to use the date of her daughter's wedding anniversary instead of the typical numbers on the Mad Hatter's hat. Okay, I think that the silicone that I used for adhering this has finally dried enough for me to let go. So I wanna make sure I line it up right so that we have the short things in the front. Okay, so now I will let this dry, this shifted. I will let this dry for a couple of hours and then it should be good to go. Hello, Hi, ladies. Hello. Welcome to my studio. Oh, great to be here. It's nice, nice to, to see, see you again, Kathy. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, and Bridget. Bridget, it is a charming to meet you today, and I'm so excited I'm very for excited you to see your piece. Well. Yes. yes. How this all came about was actually my daughter works at UW, and she saw a couple of Jillian's pieces that they actually bought me for Christmas and I think for my birthday. So I contacted Jillian and my daughter and I are Disney buffs so we did her office in the Alice in Wonderland theme and I thought how cool would it be to have this Alice in Wonderland piece so I reached out to Jillian, she got a hold of me and then the rest is history because the two of us put our heads together and came up with this gorgeous piece. So I mean after she talked about really liking these pieces and we talked about doing my office in the Alice in Wonderland theme and really adding some cool pieces is when her and Jillian started to talk and then we kind of put pieces together. Also part of the piece is a watch that was part of our family that's kind of an heirloom that got stuck in there as well and it's just very whimsical and something different so we were super excited to be able to add this piece to my office and like my mom said you know we were Disney fans and Jillian kind of just like brought that all together and created this wonderful piece that you know will stand the test of time and it's fantastic I'm super excited about it she is amazing okay we're gonna do the big reveal now so we've got the piece very securely put away in this box for safety Have you pull the box out one second? Okay. All right, there you go. Oh my! Oh my God! It's better than the pictures. Give oh, me a it's so look. gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, it is absolutely perfect. See and your look birth at the watch. date and your wedding date. Oh, actually, like it's very oh, exciting. Kleenex. Do you need yeah. one? <laughs> So cool! Thank you so. You are so, so much. welcome. I had so much fun making this, and your mom and I had so much fun designing it together. Right. Because I mean, I just so happened I had that teapot with a tea party on top yeah. of that. What were the odds? Exactly. Had the, the hat. She chose those cups. We had a lot of cups for her to choose from, but she fell in love with those. Mm -hmm. So, and you notice the cups are butterflies. Yeah. Yep. So that fall, comes into the theme with the caterpillar, yeah. which is why we included the mushroom. mushroom. And the so. saying, I mean, it's just, but the coloring is just, the, the blue is really yeah. pretty. We decided the blue because Alice's dress Oh is yeah, that blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Jillian mm -hmm. thought the gray grout would be perfect. Actually, nope, that's not gray. That's actually called Starry Night. Oh, that's right. And it is a navy blue grout. Oh, I mean, really? it looks like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's a dark yep. gray. So all the pieces on it accentuate each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not losing anything in coloring. Everything is just perfect. And I love what you did with the, the tea spilling, spilling yeah. over. I mean, that when I first saw mm -hmm. that, it was like, oh my God, that is too cool. 
I couldn't be happier that you guys are oh, oh so God, happy to, so, with it. Yeah, oh, so. it's, it's going to look so, I don't know if she's showed you. I did, I sent her the, yeah, the pictures yes. of like the things that we've done. It's going to be so great in that room. If it wasn't for COVID, I would feel that we should do a group hug. Punk, but, I know, yeah, I, I was know. like, I'm just like, can I you? Yeah. <laughs> so when we decided to put the piece together, um, because the watch was part of the whole Alice in Wonderland thing, I gave Jillian my grandfather's pocket watch so that it could be part of this piece instead of just sitting in a drawer. So we decided to incorporate it and then what I did with it to make it even more memorable because by the time my daughter was born, my grandfather was already gone, we set the time for the actual time when she was born. So that's how the watch became a piece, a part of this piece. Well, I've just delivered a commission to a very satisfied customer. They're very excited about it, so was I. I have a piece that I've got ready to grout, and actually as they arrived, I was sketching a, a brand new piece. So things are gonna keep coming out of my studio. Stay tuned, you never know what's going to be here next. And I, my next event will be the 14 South Artists Outdoor Tour of Events. On August 28th and 29th, my studio will be open.